Hey, what's up everyone? We are here on the public test server and I'm going to do a huge frequent ask question of all the information that you need here about the public test server because it is a lot different than the real server. Uh, first of all, you can instantly get to level 50 and you have to just type in level me up fluffy in chat and you'll notice that in a few minutes, seconds, that your character will automatically become level 50. So you see right there, achieved level 50, we gained 22 skill points, all our skills, our first three skills will be level up to 50 already, and we've acquired 500 gold. You can do that once per character, so you can create another character and get another free 500 gold. You can also create an endless amount of free counts and come on here and get an endless amount of gold. So pretty much on the public test server, gold is going to be worthless because you can create endless amounts of gold just by creating new accounts and funneling them all together into one account so first fact is that gold is pretty much worthless here in the public test server at least um you know at least it will be in the near future right now gold still has some value and you can still buy things for gold but as people realize this and as you you know use it to your advantage of getting it you know infinite amount of gold Gold will have a lesser value than it is. The next topic here is that you actually get 20 labor points every 5 minutes if you are a patron. Not everyone is a patron status in this game. If you are a patron in the live servers, you will be a patron here in the public test server as well. There may be some issues where it's not applying. Um, if that's the case contact support and hopefully they'll be able to fix that for you and get you your patron status on the public test server so it's 20 labor points for every five minutes online and then it is 10 labor points every five minutes offline if you are a patron if you are a free-to-play player on the live servers and you come over here to the public test server you're gonna get 10 labor points while you're online and zero labor points while you're offline so all the rates are double here so more labor, you get tons of free gold. So the most important thing to re uh, realize out of this is that it's all going to be commodity driven. You're going to have to, you know, trade potatoes for to, for strawberries and uh, such such and such things like that. You're also given a ton of guild of stars in the beginning of the game. So the servers have been up for about five days now. And there is actually still housing spots available, which is kind of surprising uh, because not that many people have come on here. And you know, use their houses and their guild of stars, but you actually get 300 guild of stars for free by going to your mailbox. So, the level me up fluffy not only levels you up, but it gives you all these nice goodies. So, we have 300 guild of stars there, we have six companion crust, we have 15 growth stones, and this allows you to level up every skill except for one to level 50. So, you also get 20 labor potions. 500 labor potion right there, no cooldown. So you pretty much are given a huge supply of labor, huge supply of potions, uh, almost everything in the game that you can think of. Uh, so you, of course you want to go and grab these things. These things are great to test out and allows you to skip a lot of the grind. You also get all the weapon sets and armor sets for the Magnificent status. And you can actually upgrade those up to the uh, Ephraim status if you get your craft level up uh, to you know the desired level so you'll notice over here they don't give you a glider they don't give you a loot or flute so those things you actually have to purchase or create yourself you'll notice that the housing area over here is filling up but it is not completely filled and this is a safe zone so of course the pvp zones are going to be pretty empty right now so if you want land you definitely can get land here in the public test server and you're given all the free guild stars to just go and get land the other big thing is that the public test server may be wiped at any time. Given their track history, though, they will not wipe this very often, if ever. Um, they will not do rollbacks because it seems like they do not have the capability to do rollbacks. So if there's a big, crazy issue, they may end up just go ahead and wiping it and starting from fresh. But that is unlikely due to the fact that if you have to wipe everything fresh, you have to, you know, re-level all your skills because that's the only thing in this public test server that you actually have to work for is to level up your crafts. You'll have all your proficiency here at zero and you have to actually level these up to do other things. So in order to make seed bundles, you have to level up your gathering or your farming. Uh, is it farming? Your gathering or your, 
Yeah, um, yeah I believe you're gathering or you're farming. Uh, I'm sorry if that is wrong, but you have to level up your gathering or your farming to make the seed bundles. And in order to make the seed bundles, you need 10,000 uh, alchemists to get the vicious glossy oil. So you still have to do some work and level up your skills. In order to claim a castle, you have to have 50,000 mining points. So they did not allow uh, you know, instant skill points allotted there. So you still have to work things up. But you'll notice here that people, the castles are up because someone already went ahead and got 50,000 mining points. The Fluffy is a lie who probably actually owns all four castles because he was probably the first person to get 50,000 mining points and went ahead and claimed everything up there, which was extremely smart on his part. And again, you have 20 free 500 labor potions in your bank. You get an increased labor rate on here. And otherwise than that, this is a pretty much fun uh, private server that potentially can be wiped, but probably won't. And it gets all the updates earlier. The other big aspect is the marketplace is live here. And if you are a patron in the live game, your credits, you will have some credits. I believe you start off with 9,620. If you are a patron on the live game, if you are a free-to-play player, I do not know exactly how many credits, if any credits, you get to test. But they said they will periodically give out free credits on here on the marketplace so you can test out the new items. It doesn't mean that every day they're going to give out credits. It doesn't mean every week they're going to give out credits. But they will uh, you know, give out credits every so often uh, when they deem necessary. Another way to get credits here on the marketplace is if you actually buy credits on the live server, those credits will not only get applied on the live server, but they'll get applied here on the public test server as well. So if you buy 20,000 credits on the live server, you'll have those to play with over there, but you'll also be able to play with them on the public test server and test them out here before you go ahead and spin them on the real server. So my suggestion for that is go ahead and spin them on the RNG boxes or the new items on the public test server to see what these things do and if you really, really want them. And if you really do want them, then go ahead and spin them on the live server. But yeah, those are the biggest points. And if there's anything else you have uh, questions about the public test server, please let me know. They do get the updates earlier where you can see they are testing the snow right now. We are going to be testing the um, Christmas cash shop items in the next day or so. So they will be on here. And these patches and updates, we're also testing the current Christmas drop rates for the special items from monsters. So the Christmas trees are in-game right now. You can actually acquire them. Uh, you need special items from monsters. They drop appear, uh, apparently from every character, or any monster level at all, regardless of your level. So you could actually go farm a level 1 or level 2 creature as a level 50 and gather up these items. The drop rate is approximately around 1 in 30, what we're hearing, uh, but again, that is all approximations. We do not have the exact data, and we never will actually have the exact data. So again, if there's any other questions that you have, uh, definitely please post them down below, and I'll be glad to help uh, answer any of those questions that I can. I am by no way an employee of Trine Worlds or anything of that nature, so I do not know the hard number datas. Uh, I can only give you my observations and my uh, expertise on what I have learned so far. You'll notice that Thunderstruck trees are going to be very, very expensive because people are going to want to go fish, so they're going to go um, use those to make their fishing boats. You can buy the Rumbling Archeum samples off the auction house, or you can buy the flashy racing kits. It looks like the uh, racing kits may be gone. Um, no, the racing kits are right there, so you can buy these to potentially get the rumbling sampling Archeum tree, and then those have a great chance of becoming a Thunderstruck tree, which you're going to need for fishing. But in all honesty, I don't know why people would want to fish when you can get endless money by creating new accounts. I just think that people haven't figured that out yet. So they're going ahead and trying to do fishing. Uh, the main point, in my opinion, of this server is to test the PvP aspects, to test the new contents, and to just have a whole heck of a lot of fun and not really have to grind about anything. Uh, money isn't really an issue because, again, you can get infinite money by creating new accounts. They may end up patching that, uh, but you can still, if they do give out all these items, you can still break down those items for Archeum Shards, sell those to the auction house, or trade them to other players and get money that way. So currently, you can infinitely get get infinite amounts of money in the public test server for free.